Yeah, hi there. This is Michael. I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the Seven Step System to pass the 12th YBT. And these comments uh, are for R. I'll just use the first letter of your name for privacy purposes since I'm posting this at YouTube. And I am the founder, owner, and the materials writer from the Seven Step System uh, to pass the 12th YBT. And you. Uh, paid for the additional service to have me do a video correction of your essay right now I've been reading it a little bit already so I think the main thing here you have incredible vocabulary really good development but you have a tendency to be a little bit wordy okay so let's take a look at what you've said here the, mo the question here is movies are popular all over the world explain why movies are so popular use reasons and specific examples to support your answer so you say our contemporary society is characterized by the increasing level of stress and the ensuing mental and psychological fatigue uh, as well as ignorance due to lack of time and energy to read and investigate different aspects of life okay I think Mental and psychological are similar, so I don't think you need both of those. So that's a little bit wordy. So we'll say here, and the ensuing mental fatigue, as well as ignorance. I think here, and is going to work better, as well as is usually used in addition to. You can probably make it more uh, concise by just saying the level of stress and the ensuing mental fatigue and ignorance due to the lack of time and energy to read and investigate different aspects of life. Uh, okay, let's keep going. Eternal longing for better social positions, artificial and hectic temporal life indifference to each other, antisocial behavior, abundance of narrow-minded youth, everyday boring routine. I don't think you need a dash here. You're using really all of these ideas are subjects. You have what's called multiple subjects here. Are a few examples of the modern lifestyle. I gather that the cheapest and most efficacious way to overcome this complex and baffling problem is watching films now here's the thing here is let me give you an analogy here for a minute now I'll explain what I'm saying it, it, it seems you're writing you're using a chainsaw when you want to prune a rose bush now what am I talking about here? A chainsaw would be used to cut a tree. That's what it does, right? Because the tree is bigger and the chainsaw would help cut the tree down. But if you want to prune a rose, rose bush, you'll probably use like some scissors or some pruners that are much smaller than a chainsaw. Now what you're doing is your vocabulary is so over the top, it's getting in the way of trying to understand what you're trying to say here you're too formal it, it's too much the whole purpose of writing is to communicate this is a TOEFL writing exam and you don't want to overdo it you're using a lot of GMAT words and things like that you're you're excessively wordy you're very verbose the language you're using is a little bit too much I think but what can we do here you might want to say something like this you might say to overcome some of these stresses get rid of a lot of this we can watch Or how about this? What if we said this? We'll go here. Watching films. OK. 
can help to overcome some of these stresses insofar as you don't need that. See, watching films can help us to overcome some of these stresses. We'll take this. I'm going to kind of move it around here. Let me cut this. Watching films. We'll do this. Next one, source of entertainment can help to overcome some of these stresses. So watching films, an excellent source of entertainment, can help to overcome some of these stresses. And can help to broaden our horizons. in the following. I will make an attempt to ground my opinion by giving, no, that's nonsense. You're, you're using a lot of words you don't need. You need a good thesis that, that, that explains the argument you want to make, right? So it says, it says movies are popular. Explain why movies are so popular, right? So watching films, an excellent source of entertainment, can help to overcome some of these stresses and can help to overcome our horizon. So you're getting into what's called the inspirational and the entertaining aspect of it, which is this idea. And then the other idea is it can broaden our horizon. So probably we want to get rid of this idea here can help to overcome some of these stresses because that you didn't really develop that it looks like in your thesis here. So that's what I'm going to say there. So I'm, I'm going to get rid of this then your thesis will be even a little bit better. It's probably better to put this idea not as an appositive, as a support idea, because you're arguing this as the first point of your thesis. You might say, watching films are an excellent source of entertainment and can help to broaden our horizon. You got some excellent writing skills, but I think I think part of what you want to get out of this uh, particular evaluation is you need to be careful about the vocabulary you're using. Even this idea here the problem with this is this is so specific it almost looks like this might be your thesis which it isn't, right? Let's look at this again. We may have to work with this a little bit more. So actually, I may come back to that in just a minute. So the fundamental and primary, no. That's, it's a lot of nonsense here. I'm being honest with you. See, the fundamental and primary reason underpinning my opinion is that in spite of their inner emptiness, which is compensated by an outer impressiveness, movies have a great influence on people taking into consideration uh, their inspirational and entertaining feature. You have too much fluff. Too much there's too many things in there. But the thing is is you you take so much time in the beginning of the paragraph to explain all of these fancy ideas, you don't even give a specific example of one movie and show how it is entertaining. So you have to kind of be careful about that. So I'm going to get rid of quite a bit of what you have here.
you have to say something like this. First of all, movies are popular due to their inspirational and entertaining features. Now we have two things here. If you say inspirational, you say entertaining, now you have to give examples to help support both of those ideas. Let's see what you've done here. From the perspective of entertainment, movies decrease capability of personal thinking using our mental flexibility and logic, specifically concentrating our attention on the imagination of others. I watch movies for relaxation after the work day. Not a good idea, my friend, I'm telling you. You got two key points, inspirational, entertaining. I wouldn't bring up the relaxation issue unless you want to give a whole bunch of examples to support it. So I don't think this paragraph is connected as well as it should be. So we got to do some work uh, with this. Okay, I think you're focusing more on the entertainment thing and not as much on the inspirational thing according to the paragraph, right? So I'm going to just focus on that. So due to their entertaining features. You might say From the perspective of entertainment movies, decreased capability, you have no subject there. Or maybe if you have a comma here. I think you need an example here. This helps. You might say, a few days ago I watched the movie... Uh, what's a new movie right now? What do you got? What, what's one uh, in the? Um, I'm talking to my uh, my TA here. What's a popular movie the last week or two? That's Django. which one? The Jingo. The How do you spell that? D J A N G O. I don't know anything about that. I better not use that one. Okay. All right. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring up one. I got one. Okay. So you might say, for example, a few days ago I watched, let's call it a sports movie. Movie Rudy. About a young man who against all odds made the Notre Dame football team, right? So here. The main thing here are is you want to give an example and that helps develop your idea and then you can do some of this analysis that you have in here, right? You don't have to go into a huge um, explanation of what the movie was about, but simply just address it a little bit. You might say, for example, a few days ago I watched the sports movie Rudy and typically with books and movies we underline those so that the reader knows that this is a little bit different from the rest of the words in the uh, sentence. But a young man who you might say, against all odds, made the Notre Dame football team. Then you say something like, as I watched the movie, should probably good to say entertaining. As I watched the entertaining movie, maybe put a comma here,
So I think what you're trying to say here, you decrease your capability of personal thinking, you're using your mental flexibility and logic, and concentrating your attention on the imagination of others. It's a very formal how you're saying this, but as I watch the entertaining movie, I forgot about some of my own personal issues so I forgot about some of my own personal issues then you might say here and concentrated my attention here on how the main character of the movie made the football team and finally in his senior year he got to play in one of the games despite his small size you see what I'm saying? What, what, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to personalize your speech, your writing essay. I'm trying to give a face to it. You had no face to it. You just had a lot of formal type words. You didn't have any really specific ideas in there. So that's what I'm trying to do. You, you're a good writer, though. Don't get me wrong. But I'm just giving you an example how you can personalize the writing a little bit more. You'll make it better for the IBT Human Raiders who are reading it. Say, first of all, movies are popular due to their entertaining features. For example, a few days ago I watched the sports movie Rudy about a young man who against all odds made the Notre Dame football team. As I watched the entertaining movie I forgot about some of my own personal issues and concentrated my attention on how the main character of the movie made the football team. And finally, in his senior year, he got to play, I should say, in one, in one of the games despite his small size. Then you might say something like this. Yeah, the other thing here, you say in the next part of the paragraph, after heavy deteriorating work days, movies are an excellent source of energy which redress our physical mental balance. I watch comedies for relaxation after work day, which usually demand pondering, deliberation, and contemplation. The problem is that's a whole nother idea. You're now moving into a whole nother area. So I'm going to probably not use any of that at all. So we have to keep focused around this entertaining idea. You might say my boring job all day. It was a relief, especially since I've been at my boring job all day, to be entertained by such maybe an inspiring or inspirational story.
which help to energize me. Okay, I think we got it. So I think we have this paragraph and this I think I'm just going to get rid of it. Now let's take a look at our word length. We are looking for about 350 words, right? So your word count is still good. You're 355, which is where you want to be. Okay, so we have two paragraphs, I think, that are working. Now we go to your next paragraph, expanding the topic. It could be also be mentioned that movies broaden our horizon by increasing our understanding about various cultural realms. Let's go back to your thesis now. It can help broaden our, I'm going to put this word, cultural. cultural horizon. So watching films are an excellent source of entertainment and can help to broaden our cultural horizons. Now we use a we use like a second of all again you're just simply too wordy How about this? In addition to being popular movies how about can broaden our cultural horizons by increasing our understanding about various cultural realms. Okay, we have to stick on an idea here. By increasing our understanding, you can just say can broaden our cultural horizons. Okay, now let's let's take a look at what you said. So you have an example in here. When I was at school, I used to watch enormous number of historical and documental, I would say, documental films, which have had a huge impact on my imagination, understanding of historical events, and gorgeous, exquisite, but architectural structures. They predetermine and trigger my future profession as a historian. The problem is you have this idea of culture. You need to restate that in the different parts of that paragraph to give your paragraph a more unified type idea. You remember in the previous paragraph, I used the word entertaining here, and I use it entertaining again here. I even use it near the end here. Now, why do you think I did that? I'm trying to unify the paragraph to give it a good topic in the beginning that you can restate that keyword or use a synonym for that keyword at different junctures or different parts of, of that paragraph. So second of all, in addition to being popular, movies can broaden our cultural horizon. Now, do you see what I did there? This is called a transition sentence. In the first part of the sentence where you see this, I'm referring to the first point of the second paragraph. And now when I say can broaden our cultural horizons, I'm now referring to the new topic of this paragraph. Now, what you have to do here is to stay with the previous movie. If you want to show depth to the writing, you take a topic and you try to work with it as, and you thread it through the different paragraphs to show that you can take an idea and you can develop it on different levels. Now you're showing me 
that you have incredible grammar, you have incredible vocabulary, don't get me wrong. You, you're incredible. You have really good uh, writing proficiency, but you're not showing me you can really unify a paragraph and you can stick with a certain idea and get really specific in that one thing. So your essay needs to have a little more depth. Now you can say, Now we have to do uh, you might say here You might say how important football is to American culture. So you have to kind of stick with this idea here. So you're, we have to say it broadened our horizons. You might say I had no idea You might say, nor did I know how difficult it is We have to stay with this idea of this cultural horizon thing. Let's add to that. You might say, in addition, the main character of the movie will just say Rudy. You might say the three of which are additional integral elements of American culture.
you see what I'm saying there so you, you see what we're doing so what we're doing here is we're showing to the IBT human writers that you can not only show depth to the writing you can just take one particular movie and you can show through that movie you know why movies are popular so you're giving two basic reasons to support the argument as it says at the top explain why movies are so popular so you only have two ideas so you're saying there's an entertainment element and then there's a cultural element to movies which make them popular to the people who watch them right that's what you're trying to argue here help to I'm going to say expand I'm going to kind of restate your th your topic sentence help to expand my views or cultural values people in the United States hold dear there there we go we got it again we have to make sure we're close to the 350 word length yeah I think we're gonna be fine now unfortunately what you have here I'm gonna get rid of all of it but what you have is not bad necessarily I hate to delete it but I was I'm trying to show you again how to personalize the writing more right giving a specific example of a movie and through that discussion of that movie you're answering really or defending the two main points that you said in your thesis a good source of entertainment and they can broaden our cultural horizons those are the two things that you're trying to argue here then we have your conclusion you can say in some in some works the considerations presented permit to conclude see all of this is nonsense you're using so many words in there when you can get them down to just a few in in some movies have many functions I'm gonna say but they can be popular because they entertain and broaden horizon you've already said need a synonym so cultural perspectives I'm gonna say there So in some movies have many functions, but they can be popular because they entertain and broaden our cultural perspectives. What I'm doing here is, is I'm using the, the idea of popular because that restates kind of what we're saying up here. You see what I mean? So that's why I'm doing that. Okay, let's keep going. They include details which support our deeper understanding of certain things and have important theoretical consequences and scientific investigations. On the other hand, they entertain thousands of people. And we got got get rid of all that. It doesn't really fit because I got rid of a lot of what you did in the essay. So if I gave you a message today, I'm going to say simplify a little bit. You're using, I think, some of the, the sentence structures you're using, it's simply way too uh, advanced. Uh, it's way too wordy. It's not very concise. It's getting in, in, in the way of your real purpose, which is to communicate clearly, effectively, concisely, and all those kinds of things. Let's see what our word length is at this point. I think we should be pretty close to what we want, and we'll work with your conclusion just a bit. Okay, we're at 340, so we're pretty good. Now, you could also get come up with a third point, 
first of all, second of all, third of all. But I don't think we have to because as long as you provide enough uh, details for those two points and you really um, kind of do that. Okay, and some movies have many functions, but they can be popular because they entertain and broaden our cultural perspectives. Might say something like this. Okay, I think that works. Let's go through the spell chat. I think we're good. Let's read it one more time, make uh, some last minute corrections. Our contemporary society is characterized by the increasing level of stress and the ensuing mental fatigue and ignorance due to the lack of time and energy to read and investigate different aspects of life. Eternal longing for better social positions, artificial and hectic, I'm going to say, and artificial. an artificial and hectic temple of life and indifference to each other uh, I'm trying to get the parallel structure here maybe we'll get rid of Maybe we don't need those articles. So eternal longing for better social position, artificial and hectic temple life, indifference to each other, antisocial behavior, abundance, a narrow-minded youth, everyday boring routine, I'm going to say here daily I'm going to put an and daily boring routine or a few examples of the modern lifestyle watching films might want to say countering some of these stresses we have to make a connection between that previous sentence and this. That's why I'm putting this in there. Countering some of these stresses, watching films are an excellent source of entertainment and can help to broaden our cultural horizons. First of all, movies are popular due to their entertaining features. For example, a few days ago I watched the sports movie Rudy about a young man who against all odds made the Notre Dame football team. As I watched the entertaining movie, I forgot about some of my own personal issues. I concentrated my attention on how the main character of the movie made the football team and finally in his senior year he got to play in one of the games despite his small size. It was a relief, especially since I had been at my boring job all day, to be entertained by such an inspirational story which helped to energize me. Second of all, in addition to being popular, movies can broaden our cultural horizons. When I was watching Rudy, I gained a deeper understanding of sports culture in the United States and particularly how important football is to American culture. Before watching the movie, I had no idea how an athlete would be selected to join a football team, nor did I know how difficult it is to play in a football team. 
In addition, the main character of the movie, Rudy, taught me about perseverance, motivation, and hard work, the three of which are additional integral elements of American culture. Therefore, this movie helped to expand my cultural views about the values people in the United States hold dear. Yeah, it's probably better, because we're explaining something in the past, use that. But if you say perseverance, motivation, and hard work, I think it's you're stating a general truth. Most people would know that perseverance, motivation, and hard work are important cultural elements, I think, of our society. So therefore, this movie helped to expand my cultural views about the values people in the United States hold dear. So in sum, movies have many functions but they can be popular because they entertain and broaden our cultural perspectives. I'm so glad that I was able to watch Rudy and I am, I'm going to say now, a better person for having watched it. There it is. So I took what you wrote and I changed it, I personalized it, I focused around one specific movie and then you really tried to develop why that particular movie you think is popular to you and why you liked it and how that relates to the two key points that you made uh, in your thesis in the beginning. Now your next question is how would your essay scored uh, as you wrote it? That's what we want to try to figure out now. Okay, you have if I go to the rubrics, wait a minute, I'm looking at the wrong ones here. Hold on a second. Then I'll click on it. I could go to the writing here. Okay, here we go. Okay, let's say. I don't know, can you get a 375? Your vocabulary and your grammar is 5.5 .5 out of 5, right? So the problem is, if you want to get a perfect score, it's coherently organized, well-developed, using clearly appropriate explanations and details. I think you're hurting in the details a little bit, and you're using such general, non-specific language that I don't think you really displayed some of the depth and the development that you need to get that perfect score. So I don't think you would get a perfect score on this. Generally well organized and well developed with clear explanations of ideas with sufficient details and examples. Uh, I don't think you had sufficient details in there. You're, you're writing in such a broad, non-specific sense. Uh, despite your incredible vocabulary, despite your incredible grammar, I'm still not sure if you'd even score in the four range. So let's go down to the three range. I think, you remember in some of those paragraphs you had too many different ideas in there and I tried to get rid of some things. So this is more where you're at. It's difficult to understand the connection of some of your ideas. I'm looking at this. Um, you have some problems with sentence formation words. No, you have zero, my friend. You have zero problems with your grammar and your vocabulary. That's not an issue with you at all. So the issue right now for you is you want to be more specific, develop something, uh, have some good details for that, organize things a little bit better, and be careful about being too wordy. You are extremely wordy. You could say things, I think, in a much easier, a much better way. So uh, anyway, those are some of my comments. I think you would probably score on this essay probably around 3.5 out of 5 or about 22 points out of 30, which is a shame because there's no reason for you to score that, that low because you already have what many people don't have. You have incredible vocabulary, you have incredible grammar, you just now need some more practice with organizing and developing your ideas and trying to personalize your ideas. The integrated writing, I think you'll do perfect. That's going to be perfect for you because the integrated writing task is not asking you to state any particular opinion. Um, 
uh, argument, you simply explain the two sources, the reading and the lecture, show what the connections are. You can use all your fancy language, all your fancy grammar. That's going to be perfect for that. You'll probably get a perfect score. But be careful on this independent writing task. All right? Anyway, thank you for, uh, for uh, uh, sending me your writing practice test. I hope in this video I've given you some good ideas to help you get going in the right direction. All right, thanks.